What's up guys? I'm going to share this game with you because I was playing Brig and everything was going well and I figured there might be some people who have trouble playing Brig so I'm going to break it down how to use her effectively and it's in a plat free game so not super, well it's not even high, it's like mid level so if you're around this rank, want to use Brig hopefully this will help you just to get the basics down and how to play it generally without feeding but Brig is a good support because she can heal, she can do damage, she can protect people, she can make space. She's very kind of aggressive, but it can work. And, and in this game, I can show you how to do it effectively. So first of all, going to stay with the team, just to kind of see where they go, make sure no one dies off the bat, which does happen quite a bit, but it's fine. Now I'm just going to hold the corners, make sure no one dies, because I don't, wasn't sure if they had a widow or anything, so I was like... Quite a bit safe. Again, I'm going to stay on the corner. And that's all they had again, Jim. You can kind of beat him quite easily. So, my main goal keep tank alive and make space. Which I do by whipping. Because whenever you do damage, you kill people around you for 5 seconds or something like that. I'll fix that. I'm not entirely sure. And then you also can use your health packs, which then give people a boost of health as well, which keeps them alive a bit. So, my main goal is just hold the corner and to stop mainly their bastion. Or their tank pushing into the back line or getting line of sight on the back line. Because if they do that, they can die. So I saw Run was on his own here, me and the tank went to kill him. I started back behind him because I figured I'd die forward because me, with my back turned to Bastion, not going to win that fight. So I figured I'd then single off the supports. Everyone my team dealt with the Bastion quite easily because he had no healing, no nothing because both supports were focused on me. And then we won the fight essentially. And with it, I was going to go push forward. But I decided against it because I didn't really want to die, and there we had lots of time, so I was like, we could just chill. I don't need to make too much space here. So we're going to take high ground because if they have high ground, it makes it a lot more difficult. But I saw Genji up there, and I was like, nah. And also, I pulled behind, so went to go help my other support, who I gave two health packs. They stayed alive, all the ran off, and pulled us. Again, taking a bit of damage, just, I was just shielding away just to stop my team taking the damage instead. Again, dash back to cover because I had the Genji was flanking. Now, I saw the Bastion going for the team, so I whipped him and then he took his focus off them onto me. Which then allowed them to kill Genji, which I done wonderfully. And Bastion was dead because he was focused on me. So, yeah, that works. Because the main thing you want to do is you want to make sure you want to kind of take some focus away from your team, so therefore they can focus on killing who they're killing and then deal with the person rather than having two people shoot them at the same time from different angles. I tried to whip the Genji at the start here because I had a thing his ult. Use my ult on Reaper because he can be a pain. So I was like, if I can just get him out away from the team as much as possible, that'll help. Got a lucky st st stun on Genji, which helped. Now, I saw the Mercy and I thought, yeah, she's going to go for him. So I tried to stop that as quick as possible, but she did get the res. But he was on his own, so it's not really. And she went for the other spot, but again, saved her. So. Now my damage went in quite deep and died, so I was like, okay, she made space, I'll then take the space to stop them being able to just walk right back up to us. And then the payload got to the point with them not even contesting it, so. Now again, I'm just holding, like, the corner, making sure I'm not exposed to too many angles, and just kind of whipping to make space. They even tried to chase after me, but didn't end up doing much with it, so. And again, whenever you whip, it does damage, and then that boosts your healing inspire uptime, which you want to have quite high because the more it's up, the more healing you're doing around people around you. I tried to say they have damage there, but they're the bastion. Kind of. Again, I'm mainly keeping it around corners because if you're out in the open, you you can't shield that much damage. Not compared to like a tank, for example. But you can still shield a bit. Now, so I had that widow. And widow can hurt if you don't have a shield up, so I was Hiding around this corner, make sure that no one was going to push my team or get that angle. I saw the bash no type, which in back, so if we couldn't shoot the people on the payload. Now, I did do a bit of a risky thing here, because I went to go kill him, thinking it was just him, then I saw the entire team, and I backed out of that, because that's not going to go well. Now, my tank was pushing inside, again, whipped the bash, and he's got to kill the stun, because he's already weakened. I saw the tank go for my supports and the damages, so I thought I'll go try and protect them. And also saw the Ash, and she can, again, do quite a bit of damage, so I thought we'd distract her. Saw the Bastion stunned him, because, again, he could do a lot of damage, and I don't want him shooting my team, really, so... 
Now, I did have a push there and I did die for it, so I wouldn't recommend pushing in that deep into their spawn, but well, if you do, don't turn your back to them when you get out, but then it's like, I should have done that there. But again, my team's handling it quite well. And it's mainly just from, like, making space. When they go for your supports, just try and protect them. Now, I'm trying to get the damage out alive, which did eventually work, so that was good. And then just kind of waiting for the rest of my team to respawn. Now, I did try and save the other damage, but the monkey, for some reason, really did not like it. So I got a whip on him, which then stopped him getting out the door. Then he died. Did lose one damage in the process, but it's fine. I just managed to get around the corner in time, I whipped the bastion back to again make space. Making space is huge in this game. Now, I shouldn't have dived in here, but... I think that's one hole. The... If they didn't have the Kirigo, could have probably went well, but they did, and the grenade they done was amazing, so... It's kind of a... tough thing. I'm just trying to get back, regroup with my team. We better get out alive, which is very good. Because trying to keep your damages alive when they're trying to get back, when they overpush, is quite a helpful thing. Because obviously it stops them dying, so. Again, just trying to make space for the Bastion. Look to check, make sure my team wasn't getting shot by him. Whipped him back, Ryan went in for him, didn't quite get him, but. Yeah, sort of Reaper's getting shot, that's like getting a health back. And then just whipping, just constantly. Because a whip it can go quite far, I think it's like 25 metres, I'm not entirely sure on numbers, but it can go a decent bit. Compared to the other melee anyway, so. And with this I tried to hit him from the side, and then I sort of shot my team, so I thought I'd try and block a bit. Again, saw the Ash, don't like the Ash, because she can do damage, we don't like that. So, killed her and she was on her own, so I, thought, I felt quite comfortable going for her. And I thought I helped the tank kill their tank, saw the Mercy who was healing the tanks, so I get rid of her, because it made it make it easy to kill the tank. However, Mercy can fly, I cannot. I messed up there, I dived uh, shield bast into the pole, which is not what I wanted to do, but this is what happened, so. Um, oh, Ash holds on point, and um, pushes it, essentially. I don't even know how it went in, but it went in, so. And by this point, their team was kind of crumbling, which you'll see in game chat very soon. Or in the text chat, I'm sure so. We had done 4k damage, 6k healing, 1,700 damage, shielded, so kind of works. And only 3 deaths, which is what you don't want to be dying too much, because the more you're dead, the less you're healing, so. But the main thing you want to do is brig is just make space and try and pill for your supports and other damages when they're getting dived, especially against like a Winton or Genji or... Diva, any of them sort of people. Because the last thing you want is them killing the people in the back line. So you either want to be in the back line protecting people or in the front making space. Both of which you can kind of do at the same time because you can make space at the front and when they dive past you just go back and help your other people. And always try and stay near a corner so if you do get pushed unexpectedly you can just go around the corner and then around the corner you can hit them, they can't shoot you so easily so it helps. And one of the good things with Brig is you don't need to have too good aim because your whip shots, the one you play they're easier to hit but because they're not super long range you don't need to have great aim. So if your aim is a bit shy, you can kind of still be, be effective on it without needing good aim. Now on this map particularly, I do like to hold the right side just to stop them getting pushing around and flanking on my team, which happens quite a bit. So, so I'm always checking that side, make sure no one's going up there, because all you need is Bashan to come through there and you can just kill up like two or three people on your team without too much difficulty in this turret mode. So I saw the monkey was diving the team, so I thought I'd go for him. Diva managed to um, stop him getting away quite nicely with a nice little booster thing. Again, yeah, just using my health packs on the Diva because she was low and in the fight, so I tried to whip the Zen because he was kind of a bit dangerous. We'd have needed healing, and I thought my other sport would go, so I went, but then we both held at the same time, and then Diva was on her own, but I was like, Diva's strong, she'll be fine. So I went up against you with a cover damage, got away, but. 
And also, my tank's making space, so I don't really need to be making space with her, because she seems quite capable, whereas killing Genji is a bit more of a, uh, like, higher up on the list to do. So I might keep it high ground, and then I thought, I'll go closer. Because then I can't just go up the stairs to get on high ground, which is where they're probably going to be diving to, is what I was expecting. So I had a monkey, and I was like, I better get back. Because he dived, they jump down, I heal, and then I whip. And then he's kind of stuck in our back line, so he can't do nothing, so he's an easy kill. This is where teams start like traveling massive, they all just kept diving in like two or one at a time, and it's not very good. Whip Mercy away. Then I saw D was in a lot of trouble, took some damage, even though she was blocking as well, but still. Then she ults, and they all die, which shouldn't really happen, but I mean, just one of them things. Their team was crumbling at this point, so. But still, you want to be staying near cover, not to stand out in the open too long and just kind of keep it near your team. And only really go in swinging if someone's on their own and you've got at least a teammate to back you up, realistically. Especially if it's like a tank or something, which you should do if they're diving in and on their own, your team should be on them as well, so. So I saw the Bastion dash around the corner because he hurts, you don't want that. Okay, just giving health packs to typically the people furthest away I try, or unless someone really needs it because further away they're not going to get healing from me, so. Again, okay, using the corner to stop the damage. Kind of trying to make space around this corner because I don't want Zara running up on everyone. Especially the Diva, because Diva can't block Zara as I can, so. Then I'm, other damage got a good flank because they're all focused on me, really, so. Saw Zara trying to flank around and I thought, nope. She was already dead. So, yeah. It's just one team just kind of dominated them, to be fair, at this point, so. So I'm just going to chill at the back line because they just keep diving in so I was like, I don't really want them to get a kill because if they do that could probably make it harder for us. And also I like the fact that in the text chat they were saying Dive Widow, which is kind of helpful to know what they're doing considering they could do that in team chat, it might work a bit better. But yeah, Widow was getting kills and yeah, nice. For example, I saw the Bastion flying and whipped him back just so he couldn't shoot on them so easily. I did lose one of the damages, so I started backing up a bit, trying to keep people alive and stop them rushing up. So now I'm just hugging the corner, making sure not to get too cool out, but I did turn my back to a bastion, which is not the wisest thing, but... The main thing is just getting back, because I knew my tank was low, and I didn't think the other sport was going to last long since they were all rushing, so. I lost the damage, I lost the other support, so I tried to get in as quick as possible. And my first thing was to give her all the health packs. So therefore she can live. Then I saw Bash in the Mercy, and I thought I'm just going to have to ult and try and stun the Son of Mercy, which is pretty big, so she flies away. Then I'll just distract him, they didn't touch point because they were too focused on running away or killing me, so. Ended up working well. And that's basically all you do. Because bring is very simple to use, but hard to actually be effective with. Well, typically stay around corners, whip when you can, or whip on off cooldown stage. Whenever you got it, just whip, chuck it out. If you hit it, great. If not, you've still tried, so it doesn't really matter too much. And just when you see people going for your people in the back, protect them. If they're not, try and make space in the front. It all works well. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know, and I'll see you all next time.